This is a walkthrough video of 55098 83rd Terrace East. We are located in Rosewood at the Gardens. This is a nice little street here. Um, we are near Lockwood Ridge and University. All the homes here have tile roofs. They're all very well maintained. And this home is a real nice uh, three bedroom, two bath. It's um, 1,900 square feet under air and it has a two-car garage and it's nicely um, nicely staged inside the roof looks to be in good condition this was built in 1989 and uh, a lot of it seems it's well kept but pretty much original um, it's very airy and lofty it has a really high ceilings um, in the main room we have a foyer and a very open floor plan, which is really nice. Um, there's a real nice, it's a nice lot because it backs up on, it's very private and very wooded. And so, to kind of give you an idea of the property here, uh, this is tile in the foyer here. We're going to call this uh, bedroom number one. And it's a small, small but nice, it, it has a tray ceiling here and um, it's very nice. This is a this is a laminate flooring here and throughout most of the house. From here we walk through kind of this is like a Jack and Jill um, bathroom. It's a full bathroom, cultured marble top with a little um, linen closet, and then we come into bedroom number two. All the windows are nice. In 1989, they're probably original. Uh, again, we have the vaulted ceiling in this bedroom, same flooring as throughout. Small little closet. So we come into the main area here. There is a, actually a really nice closet here. There's a, um, I guess we'll call that a coat closet, but there's a lot of storage in this house, which is nice. As you can see, it's been nicely staged. It um, gives it a real nice touch here. Um, so from here, I'm gonna go into the kitchen. So there's a little eat-in area here for the kitchen and more, um, more storage, and also this is, um, I thought it was a washer-dryer hookup. The washer-dryer I have not located yet. But I'm gonna take you out to the, oh, it's out in the garage. The garage is a good size, it's not very large here, um, but it's a good size two-car garage. The panel looks good, it looks to be a 200 amp panel with plenty of, plenty of space there, so no concerns about that. Um, got a nice little wash sink in here. And yeah, it's cute. Side entrance for the garage. The kitchen's cute. It's uh, very functional. Again, with a with a high ceiling. Um, this is a. I'm pretty sure it's a granite. It sure looks like granite. Yeah, it's a nice granite. It's actually got a nice uh, bull nose edge on it. It's very functional. It sinks on an angle here, and kind of gives us a nice. Nice view with the eat-in bar area here where I suppose people would congregate. A little more countertop over here. We have Whirlpool matching appliances, all stainless steel, very nice. And a little pantry area. I'm gonna say that these, these cabinets are original. They're, they're, nice, they're nice and they're fine and they're in good condition, but this is, um, you know, it's a it's a melamine type material, but it's clean and nice and tidy, and um, I don't have any issues with it. Uh, dining area here, it actually this table seems a little big, making the making it a little cramped. Because imagine if you had a couple bar stools there, I think that this would actually be a little tight in there, uh, given where the chandelier is. But I, I might put a round table there. But again, you can kind of get a, a feel for the open, airy nature of this, of this um, home. So over here is where we have the master bedroom. We have double doors going into the master bedroom. And again, with the uh, vaulted ceiling is very nice. And it's staged just beautifully. It's clean as a whistle, too. Um, this obviously goes out to the uh, lanai area. Again, a lot of light in here. I do like how, you know, there's glass all the way up here, but yeah, it's very private. Um, 
Now I do see, you know, I do see uh, there's condos over there. I do see them, but with all this foliage, it's it's a nice little backyard and it's a real nice, and the fact that this is all glassed in, this is not air conditioned space. There aren't any air conditioned ducts out here, um, but it feels pretty good out here, even though the air conditioning's on in the main house. Lastly, I'm gonna go show you the master bathroom here. Again, this floor is the same as throughout. We have a large walk-in closet. Um, Good size, just one walk-in closet, and then this is more of a, a linen closet. This is probably the original culture, cultured marble top here for the master bath, and then we come in here for the shower, which is very nice. I'm, I'm, I'm almost gonna guess that this shower was, was done later. It's, um, it's actually a really nice tile, and it goes all the way up to the ceiling, and it has a nice, um, floor material that looks like a river stone. I always like that. It's a nice little detail on, on here how that is finished with a, a marble. It's actually, uh, the shower is my favorite. <laughs> and um, so it, it has a nice flow. We have three bedrooms, two baths, and um, you know, and a big open, open area here. It's a great location. I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000, or visit me on the website at www.yorkshireinternational.com. Thanks for watching.